Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The FAA UAS Symposium is flying your way. Intel's drones close the Olympics with style. And FAA recommends drone operators wear reflective vests. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The FAA and AUVSI will co-host the third annual FAA Unmanned Aircraft Systems Symposium on March 6 through 8, 2018 at the Baltimore Convention Center in Baltimore, Maryland. The symposium will bring together representatives from the FAA, other government agencies, industry, and academia to discuss the latest issues related to the burgeoning use of unmanned aircraft and their integration into the national airspace system. There will be panels, breakout sessions, and workshops during the three-day event. As it did at last year's symposium, the FAA will operate an on-site resource center to help owners and operators with airspace authorizations, waivers, understanding the Part 107 small UAS rule, and other policies and regulations. Economic prosperity and world-class leadership in this country begins with innovation, and the UAS community is leading the way. Don't miss this opportunity to get up-to-the-minute information on government regulations and to participate in hands-on collaborative discussions with the most innovative minds in the UAS field. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Drone operators are now able to operate in certain areas within five miles of Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, thanks to the FAA's new Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability Program. Prior to LAANC and other recent technology enhancements, drones were prohibited within five miles of any airport. EOS has published the first formal opinion on safe operations for small drones in Europe. This formal opinion is reported to be an important stepping stone to keep drone operations safe and secure and build a wider regulatory framework. The opinion will serve as a basis for the European Commission to adopt concrete regulatory proposals later in the year. A first meeting chaired by the European Commission to discuss this opinion with the EU member states already took place on February 21, 2018. The Unmanned System Division of Kratos Defense and Security Solutions has received a single award IDIQ contract with a maximum potential value of $81 million from a U.S. government agency related to unmanned drone systems and associated command control and communications. This contract award has a period of performance of approximately five years. Lockheed Martin software has been simultaneously flying, on average, at least six unmanned aircraft during every hour of the last 25 years, completing missions as diverse as reconnaissance, inspection, mapping, and targeting. Lockheed Martin has launched VCSI, a new vehicle control software, as a culmination of more than two decades of experience and 1.5 million hours of operational use. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. During the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 closing ceremony, 300 Intel Shooting Star drones took flight to celebrate the athletes who competed in this year's Games. The aerial performance painted colorful illustrations in the sky, including the Olympic mascot Surong the White Tiger, who comes running in above the stadium, cheering on athletes and creating a hard outline in the sky. The Intel Shooting Star drones created a volumetric heart, symbolic for gratitude and love towards the Olympic athletes. Previously, Intel kicked off the Olympic Winter Games with a Guinness World Records title-breaking performance of more than 1,200 drones flown simultaneously during a pre-recorded broadcast for the opening ceremony. Additionally, the Intel Shooting Star drones soared to celebrate the Olympians at nightly victory ceremonies when weather and logistics permitted. Creating illustrations of Surong, the Pyeongchang logo, and athletes such as skiers, hockey players, and curlers across the nighttime sky. 
Intel has created an entirely new entertainment concept by producing drone light shows featuring hundreds of Intel Shooting Star drones, all controlled by one pilot. The drones are custom-built for entertainment purposes with a lightweight structure. Each one emits more than 4 billion color combinations. In order to help bolster public awareness of small UAS operations and reduce the number of distractions for remote pilots and others participating in small UAS operations, the FAA recommends remote pilots in command, anyone operating the flight control of small UAS, visual observers and any other person providing assistance in the small UAS operation, wear brightly colored and reflective vests during flight operations. In an information for operators released by the agency, the FAA recommends remote pilots and other persons participating in the small UAS operation wear brightly colored and reflective vests during such operation. The vest should have wording on the back identifying the individual as a remote pilot, visual observer, or other person participating in the small UAS operation and include a caution against distracting the person wearing such vest. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.